In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this Loki intro all in Blender. So this is the full setup that has all the letters changing into different fonts with all the different textures that are laid. This file will be included for free down in the description for you to download. For this breakdown, I'm going to teach you how to do this setup for one of these letters. After following along, you can add more letters, funky fonts and textures to your liking. First, let's delete the default cube, go to the top down view, center our cursor and add a text. And we are going to move it to a new collection and name it L to keep everything organized. Then duplicate it to the amount of times you want to change it to different fonts. Then we can head over to the object data properties under the font panel and go change the font to whatever you like for each and every one of these letters. Now we are going to select everything and send it to where the cursor is. So now everything is lined up. If your cursor is not at the center, you can press shift plus C to center it. Now we are going to animate the scale of the letters all at once. So we're going to select everything and make sure our auto keying is on and go to one frame and press S to scale and press one on your keyboard to set it to the scale one. And then go to the other frame, press S and press zero to scale it to zero. And now I'm going to keep a little bit of a gap around 10 frames and do the same thing to the other side. Now you can see all the letters pop in and pop out at the same time. Now to make it look like it's changing fonts, you can offset the keyframes of each letter to begin popping in as soon as the last one ends. And now we have that look of it changing from one font to the other font. Now let's give it a little bit of a shaky look that it has when it changes from one font to the other font. And to do this, we are going to add an empty, parent all the letters to that empty, and animate it to move slightly when the letter changes the font. So by default, all the keyframes are going to be in Bezier, so it will move in this continuous motion. We want it to change it to a more snappy one. So to change this more to where the timeline is, select all the keyframes of the empty, press T to open up the set keyframe interpolation menu and select constant. And like that we have that jagged look when our fonts change. And for the black background, we can add a plane and give it a material and change the color all the way to black. Move the specular all the way to a zero and roughness all the way to a one. Now we can go to render mode and see what it looks like. We can move the plane down on the Z axis so that it doesn't overlap with the letters. Now let's give the letters the color and the bloom. To do this, select the first letter on your outliner and give it a material. Change the base color to a blue hue and raise the emission to the same blue hue. Now you can head over to the render properties and enable bloom. This will give the glow effect that we were looking for. Now with the first letter selected, select all the other letters in the outliner. Now move your cursor to the viewport and press Ctrl plus L to open the link transfer data menu. From that choose link materials. This will make all the letters have the same material. Here's a huge thanks to Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. Sketchfab is a super cool site with a huge library of 3D models and assets accessible for everyone. And it's not just that, it allows you to upload, buy and sell all kinds of 3D models easily. So don't forget to check out Sketchfab for all your 3D model needs with our link in the description. Now we can add some lights to the scene and add the textures. I downloaded these free texture files from the internet which I will link to in the description below and it will also be included in the free project files. Heading back to Blender, I will make a new collection and name it Textures. 
go to the add menu down to image and images as planes you can go to the folder where you downloaded the textures to and select all textures now you can import these images as planes now select everything and press shift plus s and select selection to cursor now with all the textures selected we can animate it the same way we did with the letters setting the scale at 0 at one frame and the other with one leaving a gap doing the same thing to the other end and offset their keyframes to change with the letters you can also add an empty and parent all the textures to it so you can scale it and move it around as you wish now you should have something that changes the texture and the letters at the same time i'm going to use the empty that we parented all the textures to earlier and move it up in the z axis then i'm going to add an area light in the middle of these two panes and move it just above the letters Make sure it doesn't fall on top of the textures, otherwise that will get illuminated as well. And now you can control the intensity and the color of the light to fit the scene even better. And lastly, I'm going to add a camera and move it on the Z axis so it oversees the whole scene. Then go to render properties, set my render engine to EV, go to output properties and select the file format FFmpeg video and change the video container to mpeg4 and now you can render it out and this is what it will look like so using this method you can use other letters and other fonts and make something that you like and don't forget to check out the project files the links will be in the description below hey, here's a huge thank you to all our patreons thank you so much for supporting us if you too can support us please go ahead and do that we really appreciate that head over to our discord if you want to hang around with like-minded creatives feel free to leave some suggestions and stuff peace